Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hidayatullah with another new tutorial series. And by seeing this, you can understand uh, about whose topic we are going to start a new tutorial, new tutorial series and it's about Tecla, a structural designer. So it's uh, I will software, I will use uh, here that software is 2019 mm -hmm. and from this tutorial, I am going to start about Tecla structural designer tutorial for beginner to advanced level. So if you new to our channel and if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also stay with us and support us. And your support will encourage us for the next work. So let's start. So first of all, you have to download and install Tecla Structural Designer software and that's link are given in description. So how you will download that and how we'll uh, install that software. So after that you have to open your Tecla structural software so I will open my Tecla structural software so I have to wait here Tecla structural designer 2019 I am going to enter version is 19 0 .0 0.0.104 so I will wait after that this is our software so this is our or uh, main software so first of all when will come here when will come here then after uh, I mean first of all we have to click here new or control plus N or you can also click here open template so we'll click here here new model then wait for some time after that you will see here some template have been here some template have been opened so uh, you, you have to after uh, opening that new template you just have to go here model city okay model setting just click here and after that design code about who is code you want to work so from here select the head code so from here uh, from here you have to select that suppose uh, are you want to use Australian code Europe code Finland code Indian code Iceland code here any anywhere from here okay so Sweden code United Kingdom United Kingdom Europe and here is the BTC standard United Kingdom BTC standard and Euro code or otherwise United States ACI code ACI so in this tutorial series I'm going to use I uh, use United States I mean ACI code so from here so from here uh, the design code is you can also select the year our design code is 7 so from here uh, only one design code ASC American Society for Civil Engineers 7 and ASC code 7 16 7 5 17 available so we'll select 7 16 and here is the resistance code also this is the action code and this is the resistance code also you can also use that code okay for your uh, work purpose so I'll click here then uh, after that we have to go here unit okay so after our uh, design code we have to go here unit and you have to click here about unit so first of all from here uh, you're seeing that the every quantity about who is material and about which category we, we will use which types of unit so from here there have a US unit that is a uh, foot inch and then you can select matrix unit also so according to a requirement that which unit you will select that so I will use US unit okay so after that um, it's done actually so after that we have to click here okay okay so after that we have uh, done our unit setup and in next we have to go our materials okay so here we have to go our materials for our materials property selection so we'll go here we'll click here materials and wait for some time and now here you are seeing that 
in here our here now first of all you have to go here section so from here uh, this section you have to select here the unit system us okay done then head code united estel is uh, estate it's also okay then materials from here uh, materials which types of material will sell first of all concrete okay so so after that uh, after doing it go to here materials so after here also select first of all concrete materials and here concrete type normal or lightweight so we'll use normal concrete and from here you can select any concrete grade value uh, 22500 psi i mean 3 ksi 3.2 ksi anything so from here you can select any one or you can add according to requirement so suppose if you have that value so from here you can see it okay you can see it from here for 3 ksi here and if you want to see from here it's uh, for 3.2 ksi and after that if you if you want to see about 2500 then it's about 2.5 ksi so after the pressure okay now suppose um, if you need any i mean uh, if you think that your concrete grade is not available here then you can click here add then uh, give here your concrete name suppose you need to use two two five zero sorry two two five zero psa okay psi two two five zero psi concrete so for that you have to give here your uh, cylindrical strength it will be 2.25 ksi after that density is okay and uh, here just you have to change here modulus of elasticity okay you have to give the modulus of elasticity so you have to use the uh, as we are using SCI code or AC code that's why you have to give it that value according to SCI code okay so for SCI code if I show you that uh, for SCI code you have to use here uh, the equation is 44700 to the power fc prime okay so that fc prime and it will be in psi so here uh, you have to give it a value so i think uh, in in my previous lecture i mean in my uh, lecture in autocad uh, sorry uh, in etaps tutorial series i have discussed about that how we'll find out that modulus of elasticity so here you have to give that value okay so after giving that value i mean uh, you have to calculate that value here and suppose if I show you about that here uh, four seven into two two five zero. So here is our uh, modulus of elasticity. Okay. So this is the um, this is modulus of elasticity for our that concrete okay uh, I'm sorry uh, here actually we have used uh, the equation for megapascal equation where uh, the value are in megapascal then we have to use that equation but uh, so it will be same two five two two five zero and we have to change that value this is about 5 okay 5700 uh, root over 2250 okay then press ok and here is our modulus of elasticity so 27037.7 okay so we have to give that value in ksi okay uh, sorry here we have to give that value in ksi so here our value will be two seven uh, two seven zero three two seven zero three point seven so here is our value 
and here our thermal expansion of our uh, thermal expansion coefficient will be 0 0.0 oh, sorry 0 0.06 okay so 0 0.00006 and this is your materials property if suppose uh, in this way you can add that and then after that you have to press ok so if we press ok and just see here it's your uh, sorry did that we have to edit that Uh, it's okay so this is our uh, 2 to 5 zero Pascal materials uh, okay I mean, I mean PSI concrete grade so in this way you can add that and uh, when will work we'll use anyone from here we can use anyone from uh, I mean uh, any materials uh, concrete grade from here so after that we'll go for reinforcement so here you have to select here uh, for reinforcement it is type this is uh, suppose it is loose type and our reinforcement is plain not plain it's deform so deform there have many great which types of grade we'll use okay so which types of um, grade we'll use suppose we'll use grade here we have to, we'll use grade 60 grade now for both our uh, main reinforcement and also tie or strap reinforcement okay so that's okay after that uh, after completing that So uh, after uh, when it's done, then you have to close here. We have uh, done everything, okay? So press here and uh, close it. So it's closed. After that, go here, model, and from model, you have to select that. From here, you have to select. Uh, sorry it's not here uh, again go to home and from here materials and we'll uh, go here okay uh, before that there is a concrete material and reinforcement material we'll use a deform 60 then done then we'll go here model that model not here sorry I'm um, that model after that click here okay and uh, select that after that update from data then it's showing eight object are update from the database then press ok after that close that now uh, we have completed our materials defined so in this way you have to uh, change your unit and also you have to provide your uh, materials uh, I mean you have to assign and uh, also you have to design uh, define your materials in like that way so in our next video I will show you that how we'll draw our um, geometry i mean how we'll uh, draw our flow level okay so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video and if you think that that video is helpful for it then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you found the next video first so thank you thank you very much and don't forget to like and share and comment our video